wait a second. Before we attack each other and tear ourselves to shreds like a pack of maniacs, let's just open the sack first and see what's actually in it. It might not even be worth the trouble. Okay, it's worth it. <laughs> Okay, so we do have a mail call to do. I kind of checked things out sort of already, but I'm going to open it for you now here. Tons of stuff from Walters, I have to say. Um, this is mostly for my paper mill area, stuff that I'm just working on right now. Uh, also, I got a couple of packs of KD number five couplers. Um, I've got a couple of locomotives that do need to be switched over still. So I am also going to do that. This is probably the most Walther stuff I've ordered at one time, which is kind of neat. Big fan of Walther stuff. See, even some new products too. For example, the new Walther's mainline uh, F40. <laughs> well, I was going to call it a GP40. No, I'm like, no, no, it's an F40. Uh, yeah, these are great. This comes with lock sound. Uh, literally, it was $200 for this, and it's awesome. I really like this. I'm yet to own this paint scheme. However, this is going to get repainted. Um, it is what it is, but yeah, it will get repainted. Not a huge deal though, but I'm going to do a review and unboxing of this specifically. So stay tuned for that uh, in the near future. Uh, yeah, a 40 pH locomotive. This is uh, number 6402. Very neat. Now I've done one of these before. This one's a little bit different though. This is the... Uh, the cold storage, right? So you get the main warehouse building, which I have done. It's a uh, very modern, but you also get this AC on the side here. So it's a little bit more than your standard building kit. Like I think this one here is like 55, but this one was like 65 or 67, uh, just because you get extra parts like this and then the vents for the, uh, the top AC, uh, air conditioners there on the top. Very nice. Uh, it's probably not going to look like this. I'm going to turn it into a background building. But it'll still serve its purpose nonetheless. So I'm excited for that. Also, it's more kits to build on the Sunday brunch kit build. I've got another add-on part here. This is the particulate dust cyclone. So it's another type of uh, vacuum unit for the outside of the building to get rid of dust and whatnot. Very small, very basic kit. Uh, you know, it's just a little small thing with extra piping to go onto the roof. Um, the smallest things make the biggest difference, you know? Uh, and it's only 22 bucks. So 22 bucks for a nice add-on piece like that. That's probably what I'm gonna do this Sunday. Uh, then another new kit, this is new from Walters. Again, all love the Walthers, right? This is the Modern Concrete Grocery Warehouse. Much like the other billing, building, but this is a, it's more of like a corrugated. I don't know if you'd call it corrugated because corrugated would be the ripples, but this has a, a different exterior to it. And uh, it has the concrete base around it as well. So it's a, it's a little different. And this one, the trains actually go into the building, which is neat. So it's good for a pickup and drop off by rail or a rail to truck transfer. Very neat. Again, this is going to be something I utilize over by my paper mill. Um, and you can see the measurements right there. The uh, 16 and a uh, 7 eighths by 8 and 11 16 it's a, it's a big kit, but I mean, if it's anything like the other other one, uh, you can customize it uh, to fit the space. So. 
Okay, we're gonna keep going here. <laughs> uh, this is another brand new kit. This is a uh, part of a new series that they've started. This is the Walther's Modern Steel Highway Overpass uh, with concrete sides. Uh, I know exactly where I'm going to put this, but um, yeah, it's it's nice. I, I did a custom bridge like this for another part of my layout, so I wanted to try this one out just to see if it's any easier. Uh, it does look nice and it is for, you know, you can do the double track. I'm sure you can do it if it was a single track as well. Or uh, you can do it as a highway overpass where you have the cars underneath and then the cars over top as well. Um, you know, it does happen. So, And it looks like you could probably kit bash a couple of these together to make, you know, one long road and then multiple tracks underneath or whatever. You know, you could combine them and do many different things. Uh, this was about $45, $45 I think. The sticker's not on here, but yeah, it's about $45 for one of these. And there was three different ones. So this is the one that I went with. Very neat. And another kit here. This is the last one. This is the Organic Vapor Air Cleaner. Uh, this is another add-on part for uh, buildings. I'm going to go towards the middle more. Uh, yeah, it's basically just all this, another piece that goes on the outside of the building. Uh, it has its own base and, of course, large pipes that go onto the roof of your, your kit. So, very neat. Lots of extra. Uh, this was $32. $32, and I'm sure it'll make a great addition for the layout. All right, everybody. Well, that's it. That's my mail call for October 21st. A uh, good chunk of stuff that I'll be able to work on. Uh, again, stay tuned because I'm going to have an unboxing, review, overview uh, uh, of this locomotive. Then we're going to strip it and it's going to be repainted. Um, I'm not going to tell you what, but if you've watched some of my other videos, I might have mentioned it once or twice. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It's still going to be via rail. It's still going to be 6400. Or no, well, this is 64 too. I'm going to be painting it as 6400, but not this paint scheme. So stay tuned for that. And my cat's playing in the paper. And then on Sunday, I build kits. So every Sunday, uh, about uh, 11 to 1, we do the uh, Sunday brunch kit builds. And she's still playing with the paper. <laughs> oh, now she's comfortable. Uh, okay, good. So um, we're going to build these on Sunday. Uh, this Sunday, uh, I'm going to be going uh, from 9 to 10. It's a little bit of a shorter day. But uh, we'll, it'll give us a chance to do these smaller kits and kind of work on these, uh, that one too. And then we've got lots more in store. Uh, there's going to be more kits on the way because I've got lots of spots to fill up on the layout and decorate. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'm Go Fear, Go Home. And uh, yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you tonight, actually. We're going to see you tonight on Eminem Rails channel he's doing the third rail thursday eight o'clock tonight we'll see you then bye everybody